Hey, YouTube. Human 3 here, but what if I wasn't? Computers. Humans have had a long-standing history with computers, dating back to 1822, when English mathematician Charles Babbage invented the first computer ever. In theory, but this model wasn't physically built until 1991. The ENIAC was invented by J. Presper Eckert and John McCauley at the University of Pennsylvania, and began construction in 1943, being completed in 1946. It occupied about 548 square meters, or about 1800 square feet, and used about 18,000 vacuum tubes, weighing almost 50 tons. Hardly anything to brag about, and yet over time computers have gotten increasingly more efficient and compact to the point where we can carry them with us almost anywhere. Let's talk bugs. You know, I like to see the occasional butterfly in the summer. Their vibrant colors, the flapping of their wings, the mesmerizing display of their flight. Oh, not that sort of bug? September 9th, 1947. A team of computer scientists at Harvard University report the world's first case of a computer bug. It was a moth, by the way. Now, let's go a bit further in time. September 26th, 1983. Lieutenant Colonel Stanislav Petrov was on duty, rostered at the Serpukov 15, a secret bunker outside of Moscow that monitored the Soviet Union's early warning satellite system. Everything seemed fine at first, until shortly after midnight when, all of a sudden, the alarms went off, signaling that the United States had launched not one, not two, but five ballistic missiles headed straight towards the USSR. Petrov's next move could have very well ignited a third world war, and the first nuclear war of its kind. But first, let's discuss deterrence theory. Dictionary.com defines deterrence theory as the maintenance of military power for the purpose of discouraging attack. Merriam-Webster defines it as the act of deterring especially deterring a nuclear attack by the capacity or threat of retaliating. In essence, the only factor preventing a third world war with the United States was the fact that if the US really had launched those five missiles, any remaining warheads on the USSR would be cleared for use, ensuring mutual destruction of both countries, not to mention the after effects of sudden increase in radioactivity on both land masses, and any surviving people leaving only inhospitable land in its aftermath. And as you can see, we haven't had a third world war yet, so what was it that stopped Petrov from reporting this false alarm? When later interviewed, Petrov stated, I had a funny feeling in my gut. I didn't want to make a mistake. I made a decision, and that was it. And the rest is history. Further investigation into the false alarm later showed that the satellite responsible for detecting these missiles had picked up the sun's reflection off the cloud tops and somehow had interpreted this as a missile launch. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in any of the following, please consider subscribing as it would greatly help out the channel. And until next time, it's Morbing Time.